The after credits scene in Spider-Man Far From Home was unexpected, but what does it mean? Welcome to Exasperated Nerd Explains. It's time for some pointless speculation. It's what we do on the internet. It's pointless speculation. Now the most obvious and most boring is that it's setting up the Captain Marvel sequel. Nick Fury and Carol Danvers reunite and have space adventures with their Skrull friends. This seems a little underwhelming considering there's not even a date for the next Captain Marvel movie yet, so it'd be weird to just be setting that up. A second possibility, a Nick Fury movie. You can't really do a Nick Fury S.H.I.E.L.D. movie anymore because, well... Yeah, that whole secret Nazi thing. And the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show is pretty much kaput as well. <laughs> kaput. Because Nazis. There has been discussions about a Nick Fury movie since Samuel L. Jackson signed on to his 8, 10 film contract? I don't know. And this could be a starting point for that. The remaining scrolls, having had their population ravaged by war and hunted across the cosmos, this peaceful people, forced into war with the Kree in the first Captain Marvel movie, are now pressed into service as Fury's new spy organization into action and battle. Good job. So now they're the right hand of the one-eyed man as he does... something. Number 3. Earlier in the film, the scroll Nick Fury discusses a Kree sleeper cell. With Thanos gone, this could open up a power vacuum for the warlike Kree. This could be the setup for a coming conflict in a big event in the comics, the Kree Scroll War. Enough time has passed since the original Captain Marvel that the Scrolls could be well established on a planet or planets and in a place to oppose this expansion. In the background of this credit scene, they look to be on a large space station with other ships coming and going, so they clearly have some military force. I'm not sure if that's a big thing they are planning to do in the MCU, but it's possible. Number 4. Secret Invasion so, some backstory. The Skrulls in the comics aren't these peace-loving, coke-drinking aliens established in the MCU. They are just as warlike as any other alien races that have been shown. This comic storyline has them taking the place of various heroes and powerful people to take over the planet. There's paranoia about who is and is not an imposter. This plotline has been rumored since it was announced the Skrulls were making their way into the movies. But they'd have to do a bit of work to set this up. There could be a rogue scroll faction on Earth that gets exposed and must be tracked down. At that point, with Nick Fury off-world and unable to vouch for them, the scroll Nick Fury and scroll Maria Hill and any other scrolls Nick Fury's put into place would be exposed and caught in the fight. They would have to fight the heroes even though they're basically on the same side, kind of like Civil War. Even without a rogue faction, Nick Fury is someone who could easily overstep his bounds and place scroll agents where he shouldn't, and if one was exposed, it would lead to this same conflict. Or, number five, my favorite, Nick Fury Space Vacay. He's off in space trying to take a post-blip vacation and gets into all sorts of wacky shenanigans with Howard the Duck along for the ride. Now that's a phase four movie slam dunk. Oh, and uh, spoilers for the latest Spider-Man movie. A bit late on that, but you've probably figured that out by now. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, give your own theories about what that whole scene was about. Bye.